Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Essence Thomas, and today I will be doing my informative speech on the history of black hair. Here we go. Today, I will be talking and discussing about natural hair, braids, a shift in history, and the products. The first one is our natural hair. Did you know that natural hair can shrink by 75%? For example, your hair can go from a big afro to shrinking by 75% <clears throat> as, this, as the picture shows. Our natural hair is not just a look, it is a movement. It was for a while where black girls will be criticized for the way their hair looks because it doesn't look like everyone else and society wasn't used to seeing these big curls and kinks and it wasn't it wasn't what the norm so black girls they have decided to express themselves through their hair because it reflects on our history it's how we were brought up it's it's, it's in our roots and the difference between Black hair, any other hair is black hair grows 0.9 centimeters a month, where, for example, Caucasian hair grows 1.2 centimeters a month, and black hair grows parallel to the scalp. As you can see in the corner, it shows the difference between an Asian hair strand, a Caucasian hair strand, and a black girl's African hair strand. The next one is braids and locks. Where did braids come from? Braids have been here since 3500 BCE. And braids can be a representation of your clan and religion or age. This is how it was before our time. And a fun fact is that during slavery, braids were used as used for their own benefits. For example, <clears throat> slaves would use braids to hide rice or seeds or any other food. So when they plan to escape, they wouldn't be without food. And also, as you can see in the bottom left corner, braids can be used as a message system to escape. And as you can see, the different directions of the braids will be could represent a map route. Here's a video, a small clip of an example of how they put the rice in between the hair first, and then they would slowly braid on top of it to hide it so they wouldn't be without food if they did have to leave. Here's an example. As you can see, she's braiding carefully on top of it, and now the rice is completely hidden. This method was used often during slavery. And now she has a perfect braid, and you cannot see the rice, and nobody would think twice about it. Next, we're going to talk about how black hair took a shift in history. So black hair became a big topic for during, back then it became a big topic because people weren't used to it, they didn't know what to do. So celebrities decided to use it for their own benefit and decided to use it as, I'm going to use my hair to define who I am. So now famous celebrities such as Janet Jackson, Cicely Tyson, and Beyonce, they have all decided to express their roots and use the weaving techniques and showcase this is what black hair is and they are not ashamed of it. It became a expression of self-appreciation and self-love. And here's the here's an increase of racism in the last years. As you can see, in 2016, it went from 30% in 2018 to 60%. In 
In 2020, it went from 80% and it is currently still increasing to this day. Here's a quote that is appropriate for this occasion. It says, my hair does not, doesn't need to be fixed. Society's view of beauty is what's broken. Amen. And this was said by Natural Crowns. This is an example of black hair products that were invented because black hair has a different texture and a different need than any other definition of hair. So as you can see in the first picture, this was invented by Madam C.J. Walker, who was the first black millionaire, actually, and she was the first one to invent a hair straightening product. Second is Cantu. It is very popular today. And second, third is pink oil, which is still pop popular today. And the fourth one is olive oil, which pink oil and olive oil kind of have the same, the same purpose. As you can see on the outside is the history of black hair in the past. And this video is showing our black hair today. On top of that, I want to see when you see me. Look at your frown, natural, relax with the jerry so one time soft and sheen. When black girl magic is sometimes blue, my broke a hairband or two. Raise my voice, she gonna say that I'm angry. Kiss my teeth, and now you say that I'm good. Kid at 16, you say it's my. That shows the black hair today. And I want to thank you all for watching my presentation. I really hope you learned something about black hair or outside of your religion or race. And thank you for watching. And here's my work cited.